Hey everyone, I wanted to show you guys um, a passage that has blessed my life tremendously. Um, it has stirred up my faith in Jesus. It has brought me to a deeper place of intimacy with Jesus. And I really want to share with you guys, I believe that it will bless you tremendously. Um, and it comes from Ephesians 1.17 and it says this. This is Paul speaking to the church of Ephesus. And it says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know Jesus better, so that you may know him better. And we know that in 1 John 4, it says that God is love. And so Paul is speaking to the church and saying, I am eagerly asking that the spirit of wisdom and revelation may come to you so that you may know this man, Jesus, God, who is love. And what's powerful is that when you know the person by the name of Jesus, who is love, you experience the most powerful transformation that love brings. And it's a renewed mind. It's a different way of walking in this life where you begin to just live a life of love. And it doesn't always look like the human love where there may be, you know, emotional and physical affections, but it's a love that pours out of your soul because it was touched by the Holy Spirit where everything is impacted by it. And so I wanna take you into this small little journey, just maybe 60, to, 60 seconds to maybe a you know, 80 second clip. And I wanna take you down this beautiful path that's gonna take you into some deep places of intimacy with Jesus. And so here we go. The first thing that I've learned is that this place of, of wisdom and revelation that is deposited in us through the Holy Spirit comes from a place of intimacy in Jesus. And practically, it looks like this. It looks like prayer. Matthew 6, 6. Um, I have some notes in front of me so I don't drift away. Matthew 6, 6, it says this. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your Father in heaven who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what you're doing in secret will reward you. And I'm thinking here, what is the reward? The reward, and it's even mentioned in Jeremiah 29, 11. I'm sorry, verse 13. It says, uh, he will give you the reward. What is the reward? Jesus is the reward. There's nothing in this world that could amount to the greatest gift and blessing of the Holy Spirit who reveals to us and has one ministry and it is to reveal Jesus, to reveal love to us. For the cause of love, Jesus Christ came down and saved humanity. It was love that brought healing to people. Several times in the scriptures, you see that Jesus was moved with compassion and in it, he released healing. When you look at Psalm 91, 1, and we're talking about prayer here, which propels a lifestyle of intimacy that releases revelation. Psalm 91, 1, it says this, he that dwells in the secret place, it's the King James Version, of the Most High will find rest in the shadows of the Almighty. There's something called the secret place, the inner chamber of where you meet with the Lord, where the Holy Spirit ministers to your soul. The scriptures also speak about how the Holy Spirit, he intercedes with groans, that there aren't any words that expresses what the Holy Spirit is saying. In this exchange between man and the Holy Spirit, it becomes a very intimate setting. Whether you are interceding and praying for something to happen or you are there just for one reason or one reason only, to just come to know Jesus. Because that's really the goal. The goal, the biggest ambition is that we may come to know Jesus. Jeremiah 29, 13, it says, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Another promise in Deuteronomy, it says, but if from there you seek the Lord, your God, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. And I really want to encourage you guys to press and lean in to an intimate, um, press into Jesus and pursue this intimate lifestyle where it looks like reading the scriptures and applying the scriptures in your life and going into your inner chamber, the secret place and experiencing a transformation as you commune and fellowship in that designated time where it's just you and him and no one else and no one knows. I wanna reveal another passage um, and kind of break it, break it down. Colossians 2, verse two and three, it says, my goal 
is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding. I love that. In order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Jesus Christ, in whom we are hidden, and in whom are hidden, excuse me, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this is a mystery. You know, the scriptures speak about how the angels, you know, look into these things and they, they are struck with wonder. Jesus Christ coming, God coming in form of flesh, dying on the cross for humanity, saving, delivering us. And not only that, he then gives us the Holy Spirit, ascends into the right hand of God and is seated there now looking at us where the apostles were looking up into the heavens and the angels said, what are you looking at? Jesus is now looking at us and saying, I am here. I have conquered the world. Go therefore, make disciples, manifest the kingdom of God. But it's powerful when you manifest the kingdom of God out of a place of intimacy and not just out of a place of works or a place of ministry, which are beautiful places. But I really want to stir up something in your hearts that there is a deep place of intimacy that comes when the spirit of wisdom and revelation comes upon your life and reveals to you who this man, Jesus Christ, is. I really don't know um, your desire in your walk with the Lord. Maybe you feel a little bit distant. Maybe you feel like it's stagnant. You reach the plateau, kind of like in working out, and you're just, you're not even sore anymore. You're not seeing progress. I will put um, in the bottom of this video on the notes a few passages, and I encourage you to study them, look into them. But at the end of it, please look into your calendars and look into your weeks and find every day an open block of space where you will just meet with him and just be there for one reason only, to come to know Jesus, to experience him, to be deeply in love with him. There is no greater place, no greater satisfaction than coming to know Jesus. Remember, 1 John 4, 8, God is love. And the spirit of wisdom and revelation reveals this man to you, Jesus where he's not just something we read about or something we see in history or something we quote to build up resiliency in us, but it is someone who manifests himself in your very being and it transforms your life forever. Um, so as the Lord leads, I will post another video about, about um, the passage of Isaiah 45, three, where I believe that in this passage, there's a hidden mystery where our destiny flourishes out of a place of intimacy where there is certainly we can make mistakes. Certainly, you know, we have all fallen short of the glory of God. But as you are so sensitive to the voice of the Lord out of a place of intimacy, he tells you where to go and what to do. And if you don't even hear his voice, whether it's audibly or through an intuition or through a gut feeling or whatever it is, or even through the scriptures itself, the 66 books have a lot of things that are recorded from what God wants us to do. The place of intimacy takes you down a road where I only move when you tell me to. And when I desire to move, I ask you in what way and when and how, and I want to do it with you. Like Moses says it best, who spoke to God face to face, I will only go if your presence is there, if your face is upon me. And he is, my friends, he is. God's face is upon us, his countenance is on us, his grace, his favor. And so use his favor, use his grace to expand the kingdom of God. But it is so fruitful when it's out of a place of intimacy with Jesus. God bless you guys.